question is solve x cube minus 3x square minus 16 x plus 48 is equal to 0 given that sum of 2 of its roots is 0 okay sum of 2 of its roots is 0 let consider it is a, a cubic equation let it has the three roots the three root size alpha beta gamma or the roots of given cubic equation okay if alpha beta gamma are the roots of the given cubic equation so write down the cubic equation x cube minus 3x square minus 16x plus 48 is equal to 0 then we can write the sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to what it is pl plus minus minus of minus 3 directly i'm writing here it as a plus 3 and product of the roots okay taken two roots at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to plus minus plus means it is plus of minus 16 is minus 16 and the product of the roots taken three roots at a time we get this is as plus minus plus and minus minus of plus 48 it is minus 48 okay so this is the information we can write from the given cubic equation and the condition what he has given given that sum of two of its roots is zero okay so let given the sum of two of its roots is zero that means here i am considering alpha plus beta is equal to zero sum of two of its roots is zero write down the statements sum of two of two roots okay sum of two roots is zero so next if we substitute over here now consider the first case let's consider this as equation one let the equation two and the equation three now consider the equation one from the equation one we can write as alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to zero that implies and he has given that alpha plus sorry it is equal to three okay which is equal to three over here given that alpha plus beta is equal to zero then we can write gamma is equal to three okay if gamma is equal to three then we can write as some one value of x which is satisfying one root of x which is satisfying the given cubic equation as gamma equals to three that means x minus 3 is a factor of x minus 3 is a factor of given cubic equation now with the synthetic division we can find out the quotient okay remaining factors so how to find out with the synthetic division so now we can write the what is the synthetic division write down the coefficients 1 minus 3 minus 16 48 now the x minus 3 is a factor then x is equals to 3 so first column it is 0 1 and 1 into 3 it is as 0 next 0 into 3 0 then here we get this as a minus 16 and minus 16 into 3 minus 48 add is 0 so the remainder is 0 and here what it is this is x power 0 this is x power 1 coefficient this is x square coefficient so from this one another factor we can write as x square minus 16 is equal to 0 okay to find out the other roots we can write x square minus 16 another factor is x square minus 16 if it is equal to 0 then which is equal to x square is equal to 16 then x is equal to plus or minus 4 okay now what are the roots one root is plus 4 and another root is minus 4 and already another root we are obtained gamma equals to 3 therefore plus 4 minus 4 and 3 are the roots okay 3 are the roots of given x cube minus 3x square minus 16x plus 48 equal to 0 so that means he is asking for that means he is asking us to solve solve means we need to find out the x values that means here the x values are nothing but roots of the given 
polynomial equation then the roots of the polynomial equation or the values of x are plus 4 minus 4 and 3 okay then the condition is also satisfied sum of the two of its roots 4 plus 4 minus 4 the sum of the two of roots is 0 the condition is also satisfied then 4 minus 4 plus 3 are the roots of given cubic equation next question is find the condition that x cube minus px square plus qx minus r equal to 0 may have sum of two of its roots is 0 okay same as the before problem let consider okay let's alpha beta gamma or the roots of given cubic equation then we can write as what is the equation x cube minus p x square plus qx minus r is equal to 0 generally it is uh, we have plus minus plus minus alternatively sign then sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to z sorry here it is okay alpha plus beta plus gamma plus minus minus of minus p means it is p and the product of the roots sum of the product of the roots taken two roots at a time gamma alpha plus minus plus it is equal to q and product of the roots alpha beta gamma is equal to r okay and the condition is given that sum of two of its roots is zero so given that the condition sum of two of its roots okay sum of two roots is zero okay so let therefore that is let consider here alpha plus beta equal to 0 okay now assume this as equation 1 this is as equation 2 and this is as equation 3 so from equation 1 we can write this is as alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to okay alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to p but alpha plus beta is equals to 0 that implies gamma is equal to p okay one root is p okay here not not necessarily go for the synthetic division but if one root is p this root has to satisfy the given polynomial equation now substitute gamma is equals to p okay substitute gamma is equal to p in x cube minus p x square plus q x minus r equal to 0 if we substitute gamma equals to p that means x is equals to p gamma is equals to p means now we have to substitute x equal to p why because gamma is a root okay if gamma is a root then gamma has to satisfy the given polynomial equation now if we substitute gamma equals to p then p cube minus p into p square plus qp minus r equal to 0 from this one directly we can say that p cube and minus p cube which cancelled out then p q equals to r q p equal to r is the condition for this given cubic equation if the sum of the two of its roots are zero next question solve 9 x cube minus 15 x square plus 7 x minus 1 equal to zero given that two of its roots are equal okay given that the two of its roots are equal so for this to solve this one so uh, what is the question is asking asking us to solve this cubic equation solve the polynomial means we need to find out the values of x which satisfies this polynomial equation that means uh, values of x which are satisfying the polynomial equation means we need to find out the roots of this polynomial equation okay roots of this polynomial equation and uh, how to solve this one so for this one let alpha beta gamma okay let alpha beta gamma or the roots of the polynomial equation what it is cubic equation 9x cube minus 15x square plus 7x minus 1 is equal to 0 okay therefore we can write as sum of the root size alpha plus beta plus gamma is 15 and the product of the roots alpha beta beta gamma gamma alpha two roots taken at a time as seven and the product of the roots taken three roots at a time what is alpha beta gamma is equal to one okay 
so now after this let consider so now it is uh, not only 15 it is 15 by 9 it is 7 by 9 it is 1 by 9 okay is it clear why because the coefficient it has to be we need to convert this into the monic polynomial the thing we have to remember so we can write this is as minus 15 by 9 x squared plus 7 by 9 x minus 1 by 9 x okay if we convert into the monic polynomial directly we can write the coefficients as a result okay so now given that what is the condition he has given okay given that roots are equal two roots are equal okay given that the two roots are equal okay if the two roots are equal let consider alpha is equal to beta okay alpha is equal to beta now assume this is as equation 1 which is as equation 2 and this is as equation 3 okay if alpha is equal to beta now the equation 1 can be written as alpha plus beta can be written as alpha plus gamma is equal to 15 by 9 so we can write this is equal to 2 alpha plus gamma is equal to 15 by 9 okay the next condition what we can write the equation 2 equation 2 can be written as so what it is alpha beta means here we get this as alpha square plus okay alpha beta is equals to alpha square and if we take gamma as a common the next terms can be written as beta plus alpha okay beta plus alpha is equal to 7 by 9 so now here we can write this is as alpha square plus gamma into beta plus alpha alpha beta equals to alpha this is equals to 2 alpha is equal to 7 by 9 okay now i am going over for the solution so we can write from equation 2 alpha square plus okay alpha square plus 2 alpha gamma is equal to 7 by 9 okay we need to find any one of the roots okay so from the three roots alpha beta gamma three roots two we are converting into the two roots now gamma can be written as okay from this one we can write gamma is equal to 15 by 9 minus 2 alpha okay now substitute over here alpha square plus 2 alpha into gamma 15 by 9 minus 2 alpha is equal to 7 by 9 if we simplify this we write this is as alpha square plus 30 alpha by 9 minus 4 alpha square okay minus 30 alpha by 9 minus 4 alpha square is equal to 7 by 9 okay so now we can write this is as 30 alpha by 9 minus 3 alpha square is equal to 7 by 9 if we simplify this we can write this is as 27 alpha square okay 27 alpha square minus 30 alpha minus 7 is equal to 0 okay which can be further simplified as okay a, what is quadratic equation in terms of the variable alpha the where uh, here alpha is the root and we can write this as 21 alpha minus 9 alpha minus 7 is equal to 0 and we can factorize this as 3 alpha minus 1 into 9 alpha minus 7 okay we can factorize this one is 3 alpha minus 1 into 9 alpha minus 7 okay here it is uh, we can moving over here it is plus 7 okay here it is a plus 7 okay so try to simplify this you will get it a 3 alpha minus 1 into 9 alpha minus 7 so that means here we have two values of alpha one is alpha is equals to 1 by 3 and another case is alpha equal to 7 by 9 okay alpha is equal to 7 by 9 okay we have the case over here gamma one root is known to us either 1 by 3 or 7 by 9 now what happens to gamma 15 by 9 minus 2 into if alpha equals to 1 by 3 okay if alpha equals to 1 by 3 then we will get this is as 15 by 9 minus 2 by 3 okay 15 minus 15 by 9 minus 2 by 3 and if we simplify this 
we get this as 15 minus 6 by 9 that means 9 by 9 the resultant equal to 1 so that means here gamma is equal to 1 okay no need to find the other root why because he has given that two of its roots are equal okay two of its roots are equal then if it is alpha is equal to beta we assumed as alpha is equal to beta if alpha is equal to 1 by 3 then beta is also 1 by 3 then another root is 1 therefore the roots if alpha is equals to 1 by 3 we are getting the roots as the roots as what is 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 okay so we obtain the product of the roots what is the product of the roots 1 by 9 okay the product of the roots alpha beta gamma is equal to 1 by 9 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 1 which is equal to 1 by 9 so now these roots are satisfying the given cubic equation now if alpha is equals to 7 by 9 then what the gamma will become okay if alpha is equal to 7 by 9 the case 2 if alpha is equal to 7 by 9 what the gamma will become 15 by 9 can be written as 5 by 3 minus 2 into 7 by 9 okay minus 2 into 7 by 9 otherwise it is uh, 15 by 9 write it as 15 by 9 minus 2 into 7 by 9 which is equal to 1 by 9 so gamma is equal to 1 by 9 alpha is equals to 7 by 9 and beta is also 7 by 9 and gamma is equal to 1 by 9 so then what is the product alpha beta gamma 7 by 9 into 7 by 9 into 1 by 9 so alpha the product of the roots from the given question it must be 1 by 9 but it is not equal to 1 by 9 so alpha is equals to 7 by 9 is not satisfying our given cubic equation only the alpha is equals to 1 by 3 is our solution for this one so alpha is equals to 1 by 3 and we solve the given cubic equation and the values of x are 1 by 3 the roots are 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 are the roots so next lecture we will solve few more problems on the relation between the roots only okay if the condition for the relation between the roots is given how to solve the roots Okay.